You saw you saw the sharpshooter, Spencer Jones? I did. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it. Shot almost 50% from the three-point line last year. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in studio, B. Uh, along with another sharpshooter, once upon Sharp a shooter. time, yep. Nick Robinson. Nick, Nick's still out there practicing, Oh, man. let's go, man. You still got it, Nick? Every now and again. Are you the best shooter on the staff right now? No. Who's the best shooter on the staff? I'd say Cody Figure's probably Cody's the best still shooter. The guy. Cody Figure is the greatest pickup shooter I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I haven't played at the level you guys have played, but I was like... Does everyone shoot 70% from three? <laughs> exactly. It's unbelievable. Well, he only runs three-point line to three-point line. <laughs> <laughs> no defense. <laughs> three-point line to three-point line. He's three a specialist. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Uh, we were just talking about how excited we are that the Big 12 schedule is finally out. We knew the opponents. Yeah. Like, we knew BYU was going to play, but we didn't know the dates and the order of said opponents. Now that it's out, it's just really exciting. Um, and... I mean, Nick, when you first saw it and you saw the rundown and the, and the layout, what was your first reaction to that? So my first thought was, how many of these teams played in the NCAA tournament last <laughs> year? And 11 of our 18 right games, 11 of those teams were in the NCAA tournament last year. He just brought up the seeds of all of those teams as we went through the schedule. Yeah, right. Great. And so then, it, then at that point, it's like, okay, which teams are preseason ranked right now in the top 25? And four of the teams are. Five of those teams, right, will play. And three of those games are going to be in the Marriott Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I love that. It's okay. <laughs> so you went, you went to the idea of the Marriott Center Magic where you host those big-time opponents. That's, that's, see, that I'm with you. That is super exciting that they're going to be in pro. There's going to be a couple games where they just don't know what hit them in terms of the atmosphere. And then, Spencer, you guys feed off of that. Oh, yeah. We saw that in games. We've seen that in games forever. <laughs> But what are you most excited about with this schedule and opportunity? Because obviously the competition goes way up. For sure. Yeah, the competition goes way up. It's like, I mean, you guys have obviously been here when we play like a Gonzaga or St. Mary's. But it's going to be like that every game. The Marriott Center is going to be full. The crowd's going to be rocking. And we have the best fans. So this is going to be a, a crazy, fun atmosphere and crazy, fun year. Have you seen the uniforms with the Big 12 logo on them yet? Um, yes. How do, we what, have to try them on. Yeah. What did you think when you saw that for the Super first time? Clean. Super yeah. clean. It's just it's an exciting like, again, I keep using the word exciting, but that's what it is. Um, it's it's new, it's fresh, and it opens up against Cincinnati in early January. Um, I, I know you gotta get through the non conference, Nick, but how do you feel about a home game to open up Big 12 play. You know, I think it's a great opportunity, not just for us, right, but for our fans. Um, I mean, the Big 12 anticipation has been going on all summer, right? You think about that uh, the season tickets, right, didn't even get opened up to the public, right, that it just sold out, right, which is fantastic. Rock Nation's been in full force all fall, and we know they're going to be super excited come January 6th when we open up against Cincinnati. It's going to be awesome, man. Uh, what do you, Spence, what do you think of the Tuesday-Saturday format? There's one Wednesday thrown in there, but mm -hmm. Tuesday-Saturday. That's a little different. In the WCC, it was always a Thursday-Saturday. Um, so when we would travel, it would be like, hey, we're going to play Thursday, then we'll fly to our next place on Friday, and then we'll play on Saturday. So I'm not sure quite how the travel is going to be, but um, definitely a different format for us. Yeah, Coach, how, does, how do the logistics of that work? Because BYU obviously doesn't practice on Sunday, so you'll have – when you have a Tuesday game, you have a Monday to go all in um, following a Saturday game. So how, how is that going to work? Yeah, so like Spencer said, you know, for us it's been Thursday, Saturday, and we almost view it as a staff as now as a Saturday, Tuesday, right? So from a travel perspective, we'll travel like we always have. It's really the time zones, mm -hmm. right, that'll be a little bit new, unique, as well as some of the afternoon Saturday games that we'll have. But yes, we'll have to manage, right, not playing or practicing on Sunday, right, in preparation for a Tuesday game. And I assume there's only two times where you go out and stay out for that second game, right, where it's a Saturday and Tuesday on the road. Does that sound about right? Yeah, I mean, logistically, we'll still work out some of those details. Um, but, the, you know, that's, you know, the anticipation is there will be, uh, you know, two trips where we'll have to stay out. Yeah, and, and in the past, it was every road trip. That's you correct. You were going out Wednesday, and you would come home yep. Saturday night or Sunday, right? Yeah. So I guess it's a little tighter that way. Yeah. Spencer, how do you feel about the prospect of playing at Kansas? In Fog Allen Fieldhouse. Um, I was talking to a bunch of people before the season even started, before we even knew the schedule. And this is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity as a player, you know. You can, I'm sure you can go and watch some games there, but as a player getting to come back for my senior year, being like, we're going to go play at Kansas. Incredible.
Which senior year are you talking about again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this year. Yeah, right. Nice. Ten. <laughs> How do you? Uh, by the way, you guys uh, quietly. Oh, shh. Started practice yesterday for the yeah. first time, which was awesome. How were the first uh, two practices? It went really well. It went really well. We we started uh, at 6 a.m. So that's um, a tradition. Yeah, it is. That's what you guys it's do? It's an early one, um, but it went really, really well. Guys were competitive, and then um, our second practice later in that afternoon was was also competitive, and we just keep it rolling. Coach, what are you seeing from your team that makes you feel like these guys are ready for what Cody Feger called the mental warfare of the Big 12? Yeah, one of the things that's really interesting is we're a year older, right? We've got great leadership right amongst our guys right now. And the effort and the competitiveness has been fantastic, right, from this summer, right? Ten practices before the foreign tour, guys really bonded. We came back and didn't lose any of that competitive spirit. So that's been really exciting. People were excited about this roster. Spencer, uh, late ad with Marcus Adams Jr., of course. How does he look in practice? Um, he's been good. He... Um you know, is a great addition to our team. He's been gelling really well with the guys, and we're excited to have him here. Who has surprised you, Spencer, of your teammates from their off-season workouts, the way they showed up at practice? Like, who, who is the guy you're like, whoa, you got better? Um, I've personally been really impressed with Jackson. He, uh, I know that last year it seemed like, you know, he would have a really, really good game, and then he would kind of have, you know, it, was, it kind of felt like a roller coaster for him. Yeah. Um, and he's been a lot, he's been really consistent, he's been aggressive in shooting the ball, and um, I've been super impressed with him. In terms of point guard, um, is it is it Dallin, obviously, and then Trey, and then is, is Jackson playing a little point as well, Nick? Yeah, so we've seen uh, multiple guys play at the point guard position. Uh, Spence will roll out there every now and again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <we are>. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but for us right now, uh, you know, the ability that we're going to be able to play with pace right and space really is relying on everybody on the floor being a point guard is that uh, a, an emphasis or, or new this year that you want a little more pace with the offense or was that the same thing as last year yeah i mean it's been pretty consistent okay. right under coach pope's tenure uh, but again like we have the ball in our bigs hands at times where they need to be in a point guard mentality and make great decisions right our wings our point guard again everybody on the floor has got to do a great job of making great decisions especially when we head into the big 12. yeah ali khalifa with the ball in his hand at the top of the key is going to be something new this year and he is an unbelievable passer unbelievable it's going to crazy, be fun to watch crazy right? passer he he hit jackson on a back cut yesterday um he had the ball at the top of the key and he was like looking to his right and jackson back cut left and he was just like <laughs> like for the easiest layup in the little world. no look dime from hey, you know yeah, your it was, center it was nice. he's such a good passer it's crazy i love that yeah. okay we'll finish with this I love the managing expectations conversation because, as you both know and as we've discussed here at length, it's going to be a massive uptick mm. game to game. Um, and Coach Pope, to his, I heard him talk to a, a group of boosters, and I loved this, the example he gave. He said he gave Iowa State as an example. He's like, Iowa State, okay, they went 7-11 and 11 last year in the Big 12 Conference. Had, they were four games under 500 and were a six seed in yeah. the tournament. Um, and that, that kind of puts things in perspective. So how do you guys manage those expectations? Um, because clearly they're, this is basketball, a lot of games. They're going to be wins and losses. How do you both go into handling them and managing expectations in this tough of a conference as you battle to get back in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I mean, for us, right, we understand, right, the level of competition that is coming our way, right? And so for us, you know, Coach Pope has been talking about every single day matters, Right. We just had the conversation yesterday that one stop right, really, really matters depending on what game you're playing and what situation you're in. So for us, the expectation is to come out and compete right, every single day in practice so it'll prepare us right, as we head into the Big 12. It's super exciting. But we also expect right, Cougar Nation and Rock Nation right, to everybody to show out because this is one of the most exciting right, opportunities that BYU basketball over an entire conference has had. Right, to be able to have top 25 teams preseason ranked, who knows how many will be in the top 25 when we get there to come into the Merritt Center is super exciting. Well said. Spencer, anything you want to add to that as we yeah. close out? <laughs> let's, uh, let's go get a, go compete and have a crazy fun year. Man, Cincinnati Amen. on January 6th. The Bearcats are walking into a hornet's nest. I, I don't think the Big 12 understands how big the Merritt Center is, like how loud the Merritt I'm Center is. I'm excited for them to find awesome. out.
It's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready for them to find out. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good luck with practice.